What follows is a brief introduction to the many types of targeting an animal should learn. A key tool for any trainer is knowing how to use a target. Targeting often begins with teaching the animal to simply touch its nose to your hand. But an experienced trainer must understand how to use the tool in all its forms. With creative use of a target, a trainer can guide the animal into new positions and train new behaviors. The target is a helpful aid that can be used in many different ways. It is important that the animal is able to recognize different types of targets and still understand what is expected. Another key targeting concept is being able to follow a target wherever it may be placed or however it may be used. Once the animal has learned a behavior, the target does not have to be a part of the finished task. The target can be faded to a simple hand signal or even a more complex body cue. It is helpful if the animal also understands that he may be asked to target different body parts to something, like this dog's rump to the small rug. A concept like this can be useful in many situations and help guide your dog wherever you want him to be when in different situations or new locations. It is valuable to be able to combine concepts, two targets at once, or a different body part and or extended targeting to create new and useful behaviors. Extended targeting is an important concept that can help facilitate many medical behaviors. Finally, teaching your animal to move from point A to point B and transfer his attention from one trainer or target to another will help with a variety of training tasks. Once a trainer and animal have mastered the use of all the different targeting concepts, new behaviors can be trained more easily and more quickly. Targeting is such an important foundational tool, it's helpful for all trainers to recognize the scope and variety of ways that it can be used.